Hey guys, it is Sophie from Games by Brains and thank you so much for watching this video. This will be a Q&A video, which will be my first ever Q&A video, as I asked you guys to ask me some questions a little while ago on my Instagram. But before continuing with this Q&A video, I just wanted to mention two things that I am really, really excited about. So my first announcement is that I joined the Gymshark family at the beginning of this year, since January 1st of 2018, I'm officially part of the family, which is unreal. It is insane and it's a dream come true. I'm so excited to work with everybody who inspired me so much during my fitness journey and who continues to inspire me every day. I couldn't think of a better way to start 2018. So I am very excited. <laughs> The second announcement is that I moved houses. Now I am currently still in the same apartment, hence the similar backdrop, but I will be moving very soon. I already have the keys to my new place, but I am still working on painting and floors and whatever needs to be done. But I'm very excited to step up my game content-wise, to deliver more YouTube videos, to make more YouTube videos. So I cannot wait to officially move in there. So expect a change of backdrop pretty soon as I think that this will be my last video that I will be recording here. So that is very exciting as well. Before I move on to the question part, I just quickly wanted to mention what I am wearing as this will be launched upcoming Friday. Yeah, upcoming Friday, January 26th at 3 p.m. GMT. So if you don't know what time that is for you, if you're not in the UK as GMT is UK time, then you can just Google it for your time zone so that you will not miss it because i have a feeling that this will be gone very very quick this is from the nikki d collection with gymshark this is the effortless hoodie in dusk blue marl and i'm wearing a size extra small it is super comfy it is very soft and the back is very very cute but i'm planning on uploading a video with the nikki d collection and everything that is launching this friday either tomorrow, the day after, etc. So just keep an eye out for that video. So the first question is by Charla GXX and she asks, what keeps you motivated? I think that this is a very, very good question. I get this question quite a lot. And my answer to that question is that I don't rely on motivation. I am not always motivated to go to the gym. I am not always motivated to follow my diet, to stick to my diet. So relying on motivation is definitely not fail-proof, or at least not in my case. So what I do is I rely on discipline. So I do things because I know that I have to do them. I do things because I know that they make me feel good afterwards. I just do things because I know that they will get me towards my goals, whatever those goals are. The next question is by Ashina, and I'm sorry if I do not pronounce that correctly. And the question is, what can you do when you are hitting plateaus? Hitting a plateau means that you need to switch things up. So you can either hit a plateau when you're trying to build muscle, when you're trying to build strength, or you can hit a plateau when you're trying to lose weight. In the first case, when you're hitting a plateau, when you're trying to build muscle, or when you're trying to build strength, keeping track of your workout is actually something that really helps you out. So keep track of how much weight you're lifting, keep track of your reps, your sets, etc. And then you can make sure that you're progressively overloading your muscles. Because if you make sure that you keep progressively overloading your muscles, then you're usually no longer hitting plateaus. Now, if that is not helpful, then you can try different lifting techniques, for example. So focus on time under tension or incorporate negative training into your routine. So just do things a bit differently so you can bust through that plateau. That is usually what helps me the most. But I think generally speaking, just keeping track of your workout and then go from there. So either make sure that you are indeed progressively overloading your muscles or incorporate different lifting techniques. That is usually something that will help you bust through that plateau when you are either building muscle or building strength. In the second case, when you're hitting a plateau while losing weight, and that means that you can either change your activity level or you can change your food intake because your daily total requirements in terms of calories depend on your activity level and you can create that deficit by either increasing how much you're moving, how much your body is burning, or you can decrease in your food intake. Now, it is obviously not healthy to keep moving more, 
or to keep eating less. That is not always an option. So if you're still hitting a plateau, but you don't really want to lower your calories any further, or you feel like you're going to the gym very often and you're moving on a regular basis, then you might want to incorporate something like carb cycling because carb cycling is just a technique of cycling your carbs and that might really help you with busting through your plateau. If that also doesn't help, then it can be the case that your metabolism just slowed down too much. So then you might need to rebuild your calories back up and then decrease from there because health is always the number one thing. Maluch asks, how can I lose fat without starving myself? So I feel that everything besides maintaining your current weight is very difficult to do. So gaining weight is difficult and losing weight is difficult as well. But that it is difficult doesn't mean that you need to feel like you're starving because I've never felt like I've been starving. I've just been hungry at some times, but I never felt like I've been starving. So what you wanna do is if you wanna lose weight, then you wanna create a caloric deficit. A caloric deficit is when you consume less calories on a daily basis than your body needs to maintain its current state. This is why you will lose weight. Now your caloric deficit needs to be very controlled. You don't just wanna lower your calories by a whole lot or just increase your activity level so that you burn more calories. You wanna keep it very controlled so that you will lose weight in a gradual manner, which allows you to lose the weight that you wanna lose without quickly gaining it all back. Right afterwards, if you are trying to build your calories back up or just live life and eat a normal diet, for example. So I've never felt like I've been starving. I've been hungry before. I've been hungry while dieting, as dieting isn't easy but I definitely don't feel like I'm starving. Now, if you feel like you're starving, then it might also be the case that you're just very dehydrated. Because when you're dehydrated, it can actually feel like you're hungry. So always make sure that you drink enough water. Gretchen underscore Leah Y asks, what do you find most difficult while cutting? And what are your tips for trusting the process and not giving up? What I find the most difficult thing while cutting is the not eating part. I, like I mentioned earlier, I think that everything besides maintaining your current weight is very difficult to do. It is very difficult to gain a lot of weight. It is very difficult in the healthy way. It is very difficult to lose a lot of weight in the healthy way. And especially with losing weight, the beginning might be very quick, or very smooth. If you keep track of your caloric intake, if you keep track of what you're eating, or if you are no longer eating very bad things, then losing weight might be very quick but then you will probably reach a point where it will be harder for you to keep losing weight. This is where the trusty process part begins because you just have to keep pushing. What I really enjoy about the fitness part is that you really get to know your body. So you get to know how your body reacts to different things, to different food items, to different diets, how it reacts to losing weight, how it reacts to gaining weight. So for me, I've always trusted that I am working towards my goals so either with bulking or with cutting, so either with gaining weight or with losing weight, I know that I am doing the right things to get me there. You just have to be honest with yourself, don't sabotage yourself, just follow your program and you will get towards your goals. And when you finally achieve your goals, you will be so satisfied and so proud with what you have done. And that is something if you have experienced that once, so if you've experienced that with gaining a certain amount of weight, if you experience that way of losing a certain amount of weight, then you know what you're capable of and that makes the process the next time much, much easier. Isa van der Vliet asks, which supplements do you suggest? So I am planning on making a video about supplements, but I can tell you now very quickly which supplements I am using. But that is not necessarily the supplements that I would suggest you to take. It just all depends on your diet, on your needs because supplements are there to supplement your diet. So the supplements that I take might be different from the supplements that you should take, which is why I will make a separate video about them. But the supplements that I am taking are fish oil, I am taking multivitamin, I am taking creatine monohydrate, protein powder, I have a weight gainer, if I am struggling with hitting my caloric intake. I have BCAAs and I take pre-workout if I need it, which is pretty often these days with moving. As you may know, I work together with Women's Best, so I have a discount code for you if you wanna try some of their products. Discount code is GAINSBYBRAINS and it will save you 10% 
on your whole order on everything on their website. I'll make sure to link their website down below if you want to check it out. X Sami the Mole asks, how much do you cheat now and then? Are you very strict with eating? I follow If It Fits Your Macros, which is a very flexible approach to dieting. I know the amount of protein, fats and carbs that I need to hit on a daily basis and I can adjust my food intake based on that. So if I'm really craving something, then I can just fit it into my macros, but I never cheat because I don't really have to, because if I really crave something, then I can just fit it into my macros. Now, the reason why I really like doing this is because especially when I am dieting and I create a caloric deficit of say 150 every day, then one cheat meal on Saturday where I would eat from a junk food place, a menu, whatever, that could mess up my whole deficit of that week, which is a waste of effort in my opinion. So that is why I really like If It Fits Your Macros, because if I'm really craving something, then I'll just fit it into my macros. So that usually means that I have less healthy items, but I still hit my caloric intake for the day. So I never overshoot on calories. I just have less healthier options within my macros. Alexis Renee 73 asks, girl, my genetics are not good in the booty section. Do you know of good muscle areas in the glutes slash hamstrings that are good with building fullness? I just need something that is much of firming or toning, but building because my mama didn't leave me much to work with. So I made a full booty workout I have it as one of my latest YouTube videos, but also follow a diet that allows you to build muscle so you can watch my bulk or cut video because I explain how to set up a bulking diet there. So I hope that that will help you out. So that were the questions for today. Now I will definitely make sure to make a part two of this video as I have a lot of questions left that I did not answer yet. But thank you so much for asking me questions. I really enjoyed reading them. And I really enjoy interacting with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm excited to make more content for you in my new place and I hope that you're excited as well. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a like, leave a comment down below and I really hope to see you in my next video as I think that my next video will be the review of the new launches that will be this Friday from Gymshark. So I'm very excited to film that video for you guys. So again, thank you for watching and I hope that you are having a great day. Bye guys.